welcome to Photoshop Friday. I'm Elise from My Scheduled Biz. Thanks for joining me. Today we're talking about resizing your photos in two different ways. So I've got this image here in Photoshop Elements. And the first way you can resize this is to change how many pixels there are in width and in height. So you're actually changing the total pixel number, which is going to tell you how big or small you can make it before it starts to look, look pixelated. So to do that, we're going to click on Image, Resize, Image Size. And you can see this image is currently formatted to 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. And a reason that you may want to change this size is specifically for social media. Oftentimes they will want an image that's a specific size. So 3000 by 3000 pixels may be too large. So you may need to resize this to be smaller. So assuming that you need a square photo, which this is currently a square photo, you can leave this locked. You can have the proportions constrained which means that whatever you enter in this width, it'll automatically adjust the height. So if I make this 500 pixels for the width, you can see the height is automatically changed with it. Whereas if I uncheck constrained proportions, I can change it so that they're different sizes. So I wanna go ahead and leave the proportions constrained so that it'll stay a square. And I'm gonna do 500 by 500 and hit okay. And you can see it shrunk the size of the image because it has fewer pixels each way, which means that it won't um, it's not as big. So to make that zoom in so that you can see it, you can hit Control or Command Plus, and that'll make it bigger. All right, so here we can see I went ahead and changed the image size. So if I go back to Image, Resize, Image Size, now it tells me it's 500 by 500 pixels. The other way that you can resize your image is if you want to change the ratio. So the height versus the width, if you want to change what that is. So this is a one-to-one -one because the width and the height are both the same. So it's a square. If I wanted to make it tall vertical rectangle or a horizontal rectangle, then I would need to change that ratio. So that's when you're going to choose image, resize, canvas size. And so that's gonna leave the image intact, but it's gonna expand out the size of the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to pixels. So currently you can see it's still 500 by 500 pixels, but let's say I wanted to make a long horizontal rectangle. So I want my width to be bigger. So if I want my width to be 1,500 and my height to be 500, then I have to choose my anchor point. So the anchor point is what decides where on the image is gonna stay the same. So right now it's set to the center. So that means this center point will stay exactly how it is and it will expand out from the left and from the right to make the image bigger. I'm actually going to choose my anchor point to be on the left side, which is right here, so that my extra part of the canvas will expand out like this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, and then I'm gonna hit control minus or command minus if you're on a Mac, and you can see my original image is still here, it's on the left side because that's where my anchor point was, and then I've got all this extra space here. Now why would I wanna do this? Let's say that I wanted to have the same thing but I don't want it to be a square anymore. So I expanded it out so that I could make a horizontal image that still says the same thing. So there you go, just like that. And then I want my background to be the same throughout. So if I select that layer, I can fill it the rest of the way in. And now I have a horizontal image that is the same as the square one, only now it's horizontal. Now if I wanted to go back to the square at this point, I can go to Image, Resize, and again, we'll have to do Canvas Size to change the dimensions. We're gonna go back to Pixels. And if I now take this back to 500, make it be my that left anchor point and hit OK, it's gonna tell me I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna clip some of this image. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna proceed with that. But you can see now, I can't see the text, it's cut off. And that's okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and you can just bring it back over here and resize it. And there you go, so now I've got a square image again. So that's how you use the image resize feature on Photoshop Elements for image size or canvas size. Thank you for joining me for Photoshop Friday. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and sign up for notifications so that you can receive more targeted teaching for your e-commerce shop.